I hope you enjoyed your break and you got a good stretch in there because um, we are going to move on to the second half of this lesson. This is the more creative side of it. So I'm going to show you how to do the slides and the formatting so that you have somewhere to put the research information that you've um, did all the work for. All right, so you see that I have two words for A. I have three words for B. Uh, but you might have a lot to say about one word, or you might, you know, do two or three as well. Well, there are a couple of ways that we can make the next slides. Um, the first way, I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate. So you're going to right click, make a duplicate slide, and then I'm going to delete everything except maybe my bold words so that I can keep the formatting. Delete, delete. And then I need to brainstorm for some new words, so some C words. Um, let's see, straight off the bat, well, I guess I deleted all of it, but anyway, right off the bat, I can tell you that my name is Carrie, so I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna start with a Carrie. Oh, I need to do this. But I need to think of some other C words. So I need to brainstorm a little bit. The word that I come up with doesn't necessarily have to be the one that I stick with. But right now I just want to just, you know, think and do some free writing. So let's see. I am creative. I love to do crafts. Oh, let's see. Oh, I love to cook. Cooking is really important to me. Mm, I have a car, but that's not all that important to me. But right now I'm just doing my, my uh, brainstorming. You know, I think that I'm going to go ahead and do carry crafts and cook for this one. So we don't need all that. So carry. Crafts. There we go. Cook. I'm going to delete this. And you can change your formatting, by the way. Let's take a look. I have uh, my headings as a 20 in Arial, but of course you can change that to suit you. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the 20. Okay, I'm also going to move my cells around because we don't have to stick with the same layout. You can do anything you like. It's your encyclopedia. So here I'm going to put the letters in the middle of the page this time just to change it up. Now, I need to make sure that my, my uh, words are in alphabetical order on the page. So, obviously, Gary comes first, C-A-R-R-I-E. So, it'll be the top left. Okay. And then crafts. So, let's see here. I think I'll put it over here. Hmm. I don't love that, but I don't know. We'll play with it. And then cook. Then I'm going to fix the formatting again. You just have to keep playing with it until it looks the way that you want it to be. And I'll change the color of the border. Let's see. I'll do a purple. And for cooking, hmm, maybe a blue. And crafts can be kind of a reddish color. Okay, now you just fill in the information. I'm not going to show you how to research again. If you need a refresher, go ahead and go back to the other video. But otherwise, you're just going to put information in here. If you need to talk to your family and get ideas, that's okay too. So 
I'm going to show you another way to make a slide. Now you don't have to copy the, the slide again. You could just right click, new slide, and you could start fresh and make it however you want it to be. So this is going to be the D slide. So here we go. I'm going to change the font just to show you how to do that and the size. can do it however you want. Maybe you want to change the color of the font. Okay. How about the cells? I'm going to show you the border of the cells. You can make the border very small. You can make the border very thick. This is up to you. It's just being creative and, and what feels right to you. I really liked the 12. It was kind of in the kind of a medium size. All right, and then again, you brainstorm for D words that you want to use. So I might want to do um, donuts, dishes, dolls. But none of those are really important to me. So I, I'm going to get a little help over here from Power Words, and I'll give you the link to this. But I need to look on the D section for some ideas. Do any of these words jump out at me and make me feel like it should be included in my encyclopedia? Oh, diligent. I am diligent. Okay, so I'm going to copy. Right click, copy, and go back to the slides like that. I'm going to paste without formatting so it'll be the same as the others. Hmm, what's another one? Dog. <clears throat> I like dogs. Anyway, you get the point. Uh, so now you've got your cell. You can make a copy of your cell. Click over here, paste, and just format it however your heart desires. So um, just be creative and as long as you put things in alphabetical order and do your research um, and be sure to cite your sources, you will be doing everything correctly. Those are the things that I'm gonna be looking for. Good luck, have a lot of fun with this. I'll talk to you again soon, bye-bye.